What's going on everybody? This is Master Slam of Progressive Taekwondo Academy and welcome to Tap In Tuesday. It's it's it's, it's a late night edition. It's late, it's it's Tuesday. I'm, I'm I'm on the way home, but I gotta tap in. And right, sorry about the, the hair. Right, we're doing summer camp. Uh everybody's training, getting ready for nationals. I'm not fighting, but I'm in competition mode and so I, I, I tend to let my hair just do whatever it wants when I'm when I'm focusing on on the goal and right now I'm focusing on helping my students become the best that they can be and last week I talked about you know holding yourself accountable and when you're when you don't prepare that sometimes you have to take the L and and this week right this weekend we had a uh, the body armor state games had about 12 students compete and they all did well not everybody won Right, uh, some people first place, second place, third place, but everybody did a good job. And the one message that I have for this week is: is last week we were taking uh, talking about taking the L, right? And this week, I want you guys to remember that don't let the loss define you, right? Um, nobody likes to lose. I play games with kids all the time and they will change the rules to make sure that they don't lose. So at a young age, they want to do whatever they can do to win. And even if that means manipulating the, the rules in their favor, they all they care about is winning. And so my message is, it's not letting the loss define you because the, the sweetest victory comes from you improving, you overcoming an obstacle that you never thought you could overcome and, and persevering and coming out on top. And sometimes that's losing to a person that you lost to in a sparring match before and, and seeing them again, whether it's the next tournament, whether it's a year or two years down the line and, and closing the gap or even overcoming a gap and, and winning that match or beating that individual. You know, it may be doing your forms and, and coming in seventh place or you're coming in fourth place and then every year you're getting better and you're getting better but if you let the loss define you right if you beat yourself up if you think it's the end of the world then it will be the end of the world right your mind is a powerful tool so we always got to have positive thoughts positive results and if you understand and take things in the right perspective understand that you you worked hard and this is just an indict, or uh, uh, this is who you are at this time, but this is not who you will be tomorrow or the next day, right? Today is not tomorrow. Who you are today is not who you will be in, in the future, especially if you continue to work hard and you continue to stay consistent and check those goals off as you accomplish them. So to all those competitors out there getting ready for your nationals, getting ready for, for any tournament, any type of event, any big moment in your life. If you're nervous, good. Embrace the nerves. That just means you want to do well. That means you care. And, and don't worry about winning or losing because if you let the loss define you, then it's always going to be in the back of your mind. But if you put it in the right perspective and keep moving forward, you'll overcome and you'll succeed, and you'll have that sweet taste of victory soon enough. And so this is Master Salim, Tap In Tuesdays. Peace out, and tap in.